Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's quarter-scale Captain America from Civil War, which is a really nice design for Captain America, and I'm happy to tell you that in many ways, NECA nailed this figure. There's a lot of really good stuff going on here. There are a few things that are problematic, but overall, it's a really solid release, so if you were looking forward to it, I think you're going to be pretty happy. There are definitely a few things, though, that you should probably pay attention to as we go through this review. If you're looking to pick up this figure, there's a couple things that are not so great, but as you can see, it's very aesthetically pleasing. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about, yeah, about 18 and a quarter inches. I know it doesn't look like that on camera. That's just the perspective. It's 18 and a quarter inches, which makes him just about, eh, about 46 and a half centimeters. So that's pretty much in scale. It's about right. They'd put him at a little over six feet, so I think that's okay. And it looks really good for the most part. You can see there's just a load of detail in the sculpt work. We're going to start looking at the torso first. We'll move up to the head in a second. But you can see they sculpted a ton of texture in this guy. Uh, that I, I'm pretty sure that NECA only does traditional sculpting, no digital sculpting. So this guy must have been a ton of work. Just so much work to get him to look good. But you can see there's just detail throughout everything. It's textured everywhere. The knuckles, the hands, the belt, the cloth work, all the wrinkles and things. It's just the seam work. Very, very nicely detailed. You can see the boots have loads of wrinkles in them. It looks like leather. Very, very nicely done. Um, there are lots of details in the head. The helmet looks really nice. The face looks okay. So here's the thing. All right, on the helmeted head, it's a little skinny looking maybe. Not a whole lot, but maybe a little bit. Uh, but overall, I think it's passable. It's definitely okay. We've seen a lot of Chris Evans likenesses that were not even close to Chris Evans. This one looks okay. Um, it's not bad. I think really the only thing that throws this guy off is the size of the pupils. They're really kind of big. I actually know the irises are big. The pupils are okay. So, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's definitely acceptable. I don't think many people are going to be unhappy with it. And at some angles, it looks really, really good. So, that's that's all right. Uh, one thing that stands out a little bit, and it's a minor thing, behind the ear in there, there's a lot of skin with no hair or anything, so it looks a little bit odd. But overall, it's a really nice, nice head sculpt. I think it's pretty good. I like that. Speaking of the head sculpt, let's go ahead and talk about the accessories. We have an alternate head, which is the unhelmeted head which does have a lot of a likeness to Chris Evans at some angles, and then at other angles it has almost like a Nicolas Cage look. I'm, I'm sorry I brought that up, and I know a lot of you are going to not be able to unsee that, but it has almost a Nicolas Cage look at some angles. Um, I, it's very hard to get a likeness down, and it's very hard to do it at all angles, and so the fact that it does look like Chris Evans at some angles I think is a, is a win. He does have really large irises again, but overall the head skull is pretty good. The hair is nice. The shading's pretty good. You know, it's, it's definitely okay. We have a couple of different hands. We have the two fist hands and then two gripping hands. It is kind of unfortunate because we don't really have anything for him to grip. Uh, because we do have a shield, and it looks okay. Maybe it's a little bit too saturated for the blue, but it's alright. It's not bad. The straps and everything look good on the back. But the straps go over his arm, his forearm and his wrist. So there's really nothing for him to hold, so I don't know why we have those hands. But uh, the straps look really good, and it does stay on his arm nicely. So that's okay. Now, as we look at the rest of the figure, there's really only one complaint I have aesthetically. Okay, there's kind of two. The first one is that the figure, how about I actually show you the figure, could stand to gain a few pounds. He's a little on the thin side for Captain America. Uh, I think the shoulders are sufficiently broad, but his chest looks rather, rather small and wimpy because it's almost the same size as his waist all the way down to his hips. So he has a little bit less of that hero build than I would like. His pants are kind of baggy, but it still gives him very skinny looking legs uh, and very skinny looking shoulders and arms. So for the sleeves, of course, not for the pants. Is it a huge problem? Absolutely not. But it's definitely something to consider. Once you pose him, it's a little bit less noticeable, so I don't think it's too big of a deal. But he is a bit on the skinny side, especially if you put him up against like the comic Daredevil or comic uh, Deadpool he's going to stand out as being very skinny. Uh, as it is, you know, he's got a lot of thick clothes on, and he's still fairly small, so it makes him look a little shrimpy. Again, posing it should get rid of it. Otherwise, the paints are pretty solid. I don't know if he's supposed to have more color going on in the boots, because the buckles aren't painted there, but otherwise there's a lot of paint. Uh, subtle subtle differences in the blue, but they're there. And it's, it's pretty good looking pretty much everywhere, except for the, the chest could probably be a, a little bulkier. 
Now, as far as the articulation goes, the head's on a ball peg, and you get pretty good range on it side to side. Up and down is not too bad. Of course, you have your rotation, so you should be fine posing him in that way. For the shoulders, it's not too bad. You can bring them up, yeah, pretty much horizontal, a little bit shy. Maybe you could force it, so it's not bad. I like the way they have the, the kind of cutout right here for the, for the seam for the shirt to go to the shoulder, so that's pretty nice. I like that. Full rotation, it's fine. This is a flexible outer layer, by the way. Um, so there's some kind of skeleton in there. I don't think there's supposed to be an ab crunch because mine is totally frozen. But if there is some kind of flex in there and somebody found it, and I can't because mine won't move, you can go ahead and let me know in the comment section. But this is all flexible, so it won't get in the way of the arm at all, so that's pretty good. You do get a bicep swivel, so that's really good. It's definitely not the best looking bicep swivel, but it's pretty well hidden from the side because this overlaps, so that's kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, we, unfortunately, we only have a single jointed elbow, which doesn't even go 90 degrees, and that's, it's, that's really unfortunate. It's very hard to pose him in any really dynamic poses. You're going to be very limited in that, in that, in that way. Um, we do have this weird elbow pad sticking out because of that, and you do get another swivel in that elbow. Not that you can really use it too much since it's such a minimal bend, but you have essentially two bicep swivels there. Uh, for the wrist, we have a swivel and a hinge which is fine, that'll help in some posing. Uh, here's an interesting thing. It appears that the forearm is a separate piece. So like right here, kind of like slides on over this joint. So I was assuming there'd be another swivel here, but there's not as far as I can tell. And this one's glued on pretty snugly. And this one is glued on in a different way. I'm not sure if it's like extended or what, but you can see there's a lot of gapping going on there. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure. I don't know what the deal is. If yours looks like that, let me know. If it doesn't look like that, you can let me know that as well. Now for the torso, like I said, this part doesn't want to move at all, even though it feels like maybe they could have worked in some kind of joint inside there. But we do have decent range out of the lower ball peg. He can lean back. He can lean forward. Not a ton, but it does work. Side to side works a little bit. And then, of course, you have your rotation, which works pretty well. So that's good. Uh, I think that's a little bit better than most of the quarter scale figures we see. So I like that. The whole crotch piece is an, another loose piece, kind of like this one, on top of a skeleton, so it's a lot of flex in there. You can bring the hips pretty far out to the side, like pretty much all the way. So if you wanted him to do the splits, you could. You can do pretty much anything you want with those hips. Bringing them forward. It works pretty well. You can see, though, it's starting to stretch the crotch piece. So you have to be very careful. They added a whole lot of extra plastic here to make it seamless, so to speak. Uh, but that of course does get in the way when posing. So if you go too far, you're going to start to come into those flexing and stretching issues. But it does technically have the range. You can go back a little bit too if you want, but he does have a butt there, so be aware of that. You do get a thigh swivel in either leg, so that's good. The knees are very stiff, but on this side I can move the lower one, and so you have a joint there, and on this side I can move the upper one. I don't know why, but that's the way it works, so luckily I can still show you both joints. Uh, using them in conjunction will give you better than 90 degrees, uh, but I can't show you that because it won't work for me. They're very, very stiff, uh, which is good. He's not going to fall over, so that's okay, I guess, but it'd be better if I could actually use them. And then for the ankles, we have a hinge that goes forward. Not so far, but this is flexible. And then, of course, the hinge goes back as well. Again, not so far. And we do have our ankle swivel or ankle rocker, which is okay. So he's not... He's not too bad. I mean, he's got a lot of good stuff going on. I think the biggest hindrance, really, is just the single-jointed elbows. Um, I could look past most of the other issues, honestly, because you can pose those away. But the single-jointed elbows, I mean, you can't pose them. So, uh, you'll see at the end, you can get him in some decent poses. And he is very aesthetically pleasing. It looks like a little person standing there, so that's good. But, you know, there are a couple issues here and there. And I think that's to be expected for the price point. You can't, you can't ask for everything and only pay 100 bucks for an 18-inch figure. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's really, really good for the money, I think. And uh, I, think, I think that's where I should just leave it there. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.